Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I'm doing some faux watercolour stamping with Arteza Sketch Twee Markers. So these are the Twee Markers from Arteza. They did kindly send me these in return for sharing them in a video. But as always, opinions are always my own and I wouldn't share them unless I did actually like them. They kindly sent me this pack of the 48 colours but they do have a set of 100 as well. This pack of 48 does have quite a good colour variety in them. There are quite a lot of yellows and pinks but they don't have that many neutral tones so if you did want more neutral tones and greys and browns you may want to invest in the 100 sized set. They come in these trays where all the pens are lined up. One thing I did notice straight away was that the colours in the trays are not in the order on the back of the box. I'm not going to lie, this did bother, bother me more than it probably should have done, but I do like to have them in how I'm going to swatch them and generally I swatch the pens in the order that they are on the back of the packet so I did have to rearrange them it's not a big deal but I did just want to mention that so the pens themselves these are a dual ended water soluble ink pen so as the name suggests they've got two different ends the first end is a really fine tipped end this is a plastic tip you can get some thicks and thins with these if you wanted to use them for like a small brush pen for calligraphy. And then the other end is a brush tip and that is a felt tip. They have really nice kind of coverage with these. Again, you can get some thicks and thins if you wanted to do these with brush lettering. I think this would be really nice set for brush lettering. Like as you can see here, you can get some thicks and thins with them. You can definitely use them for coloring as well. It just kind of general coloring. You can use them kind of like for note taking, for bullet journals, anything like that really. Um, I do think they're a really nice kind of all round pen for lots of different, like they're quite versatile in what you can use them with so that's that smaller end there and they do blend out with water as I say they are a water soluble ink I don't think that they blend out as well as their real brush pens for example so if I was to use these with coloring I would probably color smaller areas but in general I would probably go for their real brush pens rather than these twee markers if I was just using them per like purely for colouring purposes but like I said you can definitely use them for lots of different things and I'm going to show you a way of using them in a completely different way for faux watercolour stamping. For the stamping I'm going to use the Hero Arts hand drawn snowflakes bold prints. This is a really beautiful background stamp and I thought it would work well with this technique. The snowflakes are quite intricate but the pens really worked well for this technique. So I'm placing this in the misty and then I'm going to stamp onto some watercolour paper for this technique. I am using water so I want a nice watercolour paper to use. This is the Arteza Cold Press Expert watercolour paper and Arteza did send me this paper as well. I have used their premium one that I purchased in the past and it is really nice. I'm quite glad that they sent me this expert one as well. It's got a really nice smooth texture to it and again it worked really nicely for this technique. So I'm taking three shades of the Twee markers. This first shade here is the Cerulean and I'm just literally colouring in the stamp so I want to have three different shades of the pens here and like I said I'm going in with this blue shade first so I'm literally just coloring in on top of the stamp in various different places I want the purple shade that I'm going to add next to be most next to the blue because I think that they blend the nicest together and then I'm going in with pink afterwards I'm trying not to press too hard on the stamp the tip of these pens did fray a little bit that may just be how I'm particularly using them or they may just fray a little bit and um, I didn't have too much of a problem with it but I just did want to mention that uh, to you so this is the royal purple this is a really really pretty color I I love purple so I thought it would work nicely with that cerulean blue and then here I'm going in with the burgundy which is a really nice deep pink color and I'm just adding in the rest of the pen here, or the colour I should say, on the stamp. So just filling in all of the extra areas there. 
I'm not being too precise to make sure that they like blend really nicely together or anything like that because I'm going to spray this with water. Missed an area there, so just going back in with that. And then I'm going to mist this with a really fine mist of water. And I just did three kind of short bursts of that from fairly high above because I don't want too much water on it. And then I'm going to press down on the misty here and just make sure that that's pressed down really nicely. I don't want to leave it too long in case I got some puddles of water. You're not going to get a perfect impression, but I think it gives a really nice impression and it's a really nice way to use these pens, I think. And I really love that you can control where you have the colour. So I did it quite randomly, but you could definitely colour in certain snowflakes, for example, with this stamp set. And next, I'm just adding in another piece of the watercolour paper. And I'm going to use the residual ink left on the stamp. And I'm going to do second generation stamping. So I misted that again with some water. And then I'm stamping that down. And I did stamp this a couple of times. I didn't sort of add any more ink or anything like that. But a few of the areas I missed. So I just pushed that down a bit further. And it is a bit difficult to see on camera. It looks a bit lighter than it actually is in real life. But I really loved this impression. I think I prefer the second generation of these colours more than the first. But obviously that does just depend on which colours you've used. I used quite bold colours. So it's quite nice that you can get two different looks from the same stamping so for this card I wanted to keep it really really simple so I just stamped out this wish, wishing you all peace love and joy sentiment from the hero arts winter holiday messages set I'd already adhered my panel onto a card base I don't usually do it in this way but for some reason I adhered it to the card base first and I'm just stamping that down with some VersaFine ink this is the Versafine Claire ink in Nocturne and I'm just stamping that twice to get a really nice dark impression. As I mentioned, I really like how this background turned out and so I didn't really want to cover it over with anything. So that's why I used quite a nice bold font for the sentiment. And I'm just finishing off by adding some Lucy's Cards Iridescent Jewels into the centre of the larger snowflakes. I really like creating one layer cards for Christmas cards cards just because I have to send so many out and I didn't want to waste the other piece of the first generation stamping but I didn't I felt that it would be a bit too bold for a card but I thought it would work really nicely for a tag so I cut that panel down using the hero arts tag fancy die and I stamped out the sentiment from the hero arts color layering snowy tree set and just heat embossed that onto some black cardstock and I think that that works quite nicely for a little tag and here you can see the difference between the generations of stamping. You can see them a bit better here in the photographs. The second generation is really still quite bold, I think, with the colours. Obviously, like I said, that would depend on which colours you used in the first place. But I think it works a bit better as a full overall background. And then the smaller application of the first generation, with it being quite a nice bright bold colour I think works nicer in a smaller application so it's nice that you can use them both. So my overall thoughts on the pens is that they're great I really enjoyed using them. The 48 set has got quite a nice selection of colours and they are really great value for money. Like I said I probably will use them more for techniques like I've used today rather than for colouring but they do still work really nice for colouring as well. Links to the products that I used will be in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.